Hi everyone, my name is Dina and I'm a mentor on the FAT program. And you would have seen my picture I put up, I think it was today. I went and did uh, Bridget's masterclass for cooking. Um, it was amazing. She did six different courses and showed us how quick and easy everything was to make. And so what I thought I'd do is, because it inspired me, I came home, I made her sauce for her tikka masala, I made her cauliflower sushi rice the next morning for lunch that day. So I wanted to show you how quick and easy it is to make cauliflower sushi because it is really yummy. I think the yummiest thing is the actual sauce that you put on the, on the whole thing. But it was so simple and easy. It was a really nice lunch, just something really simple and easy to have for lunch. So what I'm doing is I'm going to video and show you how quick how you know how quick this can be done so I just need to set the camera up again I don't know where I'm gonna sit it I didn't think about that very well it's what happens with the live isn't it oh let's get this see if this is low enough because I want you to be able to see what's going on in the bench okay maybe we just pop it down there okay you should be able to see um, okay so the first step is and Go on to Bridget's page and get the recipes because she does post lots of uh, fat specific recipes and the stage two ones which you know we all know it's really hard because it's mono eating it's one meat one vegetable and it does get really difficult for you sometimes to think about what to do so it is and you know while you're doing the program your taste buds change so things that I eat now I didn't eat before so you will enjoy um, certain foods you just got to try them Okay, so we're going to get our cauliflower. I should actually time it. What time are we on? I can't see the time. Okay. I'm sure it doesn't take very long anyway. So it's whatever your allowance is for cauliflower. So we just chuck it in a blender. Cut it up. If you haven't made cauliflower rice, well, again, this is probably one of the easiest things to make. And we had it with our tikka masala last night. I did add a bit of water, which is probably I shouldn't have done. Um, and I've tested some today in the microwave and I haven't added water to it. So you don't need to add water. Um, I just got a bit more. I don't think that was quite enough. You sort of, when you've been doing this for a long time, this program for a long time, you sort of get to know roughly how much the quantities are. So I don't need to get the scales out every single time. So I'm just gonna blitz this. Now this will be a bit loud. It only takes 10 seconds to blitz this. And just have a look at it. So that was like three squirts. I've still got some big chunks in there. Remember, you want it to resemble rice, so. Let's put this back in. There, give it another few squirts. There we go. There's our cauliflower rice. Now, if you've got one of these, it's a Tupperware container. These are great. Now, this is what I'm going to use. It's great for the kids as well if they're making their two-minute noodles because the, the thing's real. It doesn't get hot when you're holding it, so you don't need to worry about it. Okay. Now, like I said, don't put water in this. This is what is going to take you the longest time. So I'm going to cook that in this for 3 minutes and 20 seconds. I've been testing out how long to put it in my microwave for. So your microwave, you, might, you just need to work it out for yourself. So maybe after 2.5 minutes or 3 minutes, just check it. You still want it to be a little bit tender. You don't want it to be mushy. So if it goes mushy, it's not going to make really nice um, you know, rice for your sushi. So I'm just going to carry you over here. I'm going to chuck you in the microwave. And we'll pop you on for three minutes. What did I say? Three minutes, 20 seconds. All right, so three minutes and 20 seconds. Turn that on. Okay, so we've got that on. So like I said, that is going to take you the most amount of time. Now I'm just going to get my chicken fillet. And I haven't prepared anything earlier. I've literally just got it sitting on the bench from when I went shopping. So I'm going to grab my chicken fillet 
And look, no gloves, right? <laughs> I ran out of gloves, anyway. Now, with your chicken fillet, you can make this, don't actually make it into sushi, but I'm gonna slice it in half this way, and this could make two lunches. I'm gonna slice it in half. I'm gonna put my frying pan on. And remember, we don't cook with oil. Actually, I don't cook with water either. I just heat up the pan and I just chuck it in there. So it doesn't stick either because it's a non-stick pan. I'll just give my hands a wash. Look at this, promoting products. Madeir dishwashing liquid. Beautiful, smells lovely. And it's actually really mild on your hands. So if you've got your hands in water a lot, um, it's actually really good. So if you've got your hands, you know, cleaning dishes a lot, it's really good for that. Okay, so our cauliflower's going. We're gonna come over here. I'm gonna chuck my rice, uh, my chicken on. See, just a little pan. Where are we? I gotta get my fingers out of the way. What am I doing? Okay, see that? There's nothing in there. I'm going to sprinkle. Oh. See, this is what happens with lives. I need a cameraman. <laughs> okay, so chicken, I'm just gonna sprinkle a bit of pepper. Nothing fancy, like this is the quickest salt. How's this for a salt shaker? If you live in Allenbrook, I know not a lot of you live in Allenbrook, but if you do live in Allenbrook, our greengrocers next to Coles has the most amazing fresh fruit and vegetables. And I found that in there, that's huge. That's $4.95. That's two or three times larger than the ones you buy in the supermarket. So go in and grab yourself one of those. Okay, so I've heated up my pan and now I'm going to Where's my pan? Here we go. Just lay the chicken in there. There we go. And I'm just gonna let that cook. Now obviously, when you're making sushi, that light's in the way, there we go. When you're making sushi, we don't wanna use the hot cauliflower and we don't wanna use the hot chicken. Cause it's just gonna make our um, seaweed part all mush and just it won't work out. So I've actually prepared some earlier. How clever am I? And I'm not kidding, I've literally prepared this earlier lot. And it's only been, however long I've been videotaping for, because I chucked it in the microwave. I chucked it in the freezer. Now our microwave's finished. So we can get our, we can get our cauliflower rice out. We'll just sit you back down. Sorry if it's annoying with this moving. I really do need a cameraman, don't I? Now, that's cooked, right? So I did this 10 minutes ago. I made another lot. And I stuck it in the freezer with cooked chicken as well because I wanted to be able to show you. And then I thought, oh, if I cook it straight away, I won't be able to use it. So I'm just going to get out my chicken that I cooked earlier. And my cauliflower need another pair of hands need a helper okay and then all we need to do now is assemble it all so we'll get our now obviously so I'm, I'm still cooking that other chicken but this is the chicken I cooked 10 minutes ago it's cooled down because I've had it in the freezer and all I'm gonna do is slice it into strips I didn't want to cook it in strips because I didn't want it to be too dry. So if you leave it, you know, bigger while you're cooking it, the chicken won't be so dry. All right, so I'll just slice that up. And this is two lunches. So this is roughly, you know, each slice is roughly 100 grams. You know, there we go. That's all sliced up. You can see that. And that's our cauliflower that I've just taken out the freezer. Now, get ourselves a sushi sheet. And if you've made sushi before, hang on, I've just got to flip that chicken. Hang on. 
Obviously, because I've sliced the chicken that long this way, it's not going to take as long to cook either. So we'll just gently take out a sheet of sushi. Now you can, if you, you know, if you need to, use a one of these to help you roll it. I actually managed to roll it the other day without using it, so I'll just move my chicken. So remember, lay it with the shiny side down because you want the shiny side to be on the outside. And now all we're gonna do, now can you guys see that? If anyone's watching, just pop up there that yes, you can see the sushi sheet. All right, now, just with your cauliflower because it's nice and cold. Just lay it on there, pat it to the ends, pat it down. Now roughly your, um, you know, the, the cauliflower that you're allowed to eat for the dark and it's 200 grams, will fit in one sushi roll. And remember to leave a space at the end here. So if you can see that, I've got an end here that I'm not going to put cauliflower on. But everywhere else, pat it down, even it out. There we go. I'm just going to turn the pan off for the chicken. What? Come in. Brady's banging on the door. All right, and then we're going to get our chicken. Pop our chicken in there. What is it? He's going to go out there and bark now. See, dog's barking every time I do a video. Okay. Now let's see if I can tilt that up a bit more so you can see. Okay. You can see that. So now I'm just going to roll it. Just keep it nice and tight. Now, on the end that we didn't um, that we didn't put on, we need to just wet that a little bit. So just get a little finger bowl of water, tap that. You don't need too much. Oh gee, that's enough. And then finish rolling it. Done. There's our sushi roll. Oh. How easy was that? That's nice and big. Looks like a store-bought sushi roll, doesn't it? You'd pay money for that. Okay, then all you do, grab yourself your little takeaway containers, slice it up, move that out of the way, see if you can see that. Okay, we're gonna slice this into six. You can slice it as thinly and thickly, as thinly or thick as you like. Oh, actually, that was silly. I just chopped it into four. Anyway, there we go. And then just sit it in your... There we go. This one I could probably cut in half. Oh, hang on. That's the chicken knife. Okay, I don't want to use the chicken knife. Now, obviously, the seaweed's a bit dry because you're not going to eat this today. You'll eat it tomorrow. But that makes six, six beautiful bits of sushi. There we go. There it is. Now, the best part about this is you have to make her sauce. So I went down the shops and I just got some little of these containers. And if you read her recipe, it's tamari, garlic, chili, ginger in here. And that tastes amazing. So when you eat this, it goes with your sauce. Now this sauce is really good also. If, now how long did that take? I don't know. That probably took me less than five minutes to make. Um, now this sauce I actually had on my 
chicken burger this morning when I was having breakfast. So this is also really nice. Just put it on anything. Put it on your chicken if you've just got chicken. Could use it as a salad dressing. So use her recipes. Have a look at it. Taste. Go out of your comfort zone is the main thing here. Is to look at what you normally liked. You Your taste buds have changed so much that you didn't like it before. You'll probably like it now. And I can tell you this is a really, really nice sushi from Bridget's Kitchen. Well, you know, brought to you by Dina anyway. All right, so that's it. Like I said, it's a quick lunch. And, you know, I made it for my daughter yesterday. And she was like, oh, I don't like, I don't like cauliflower. She loved her cauliflower sushi. So now I'm thinking that I'm going to have to make the other second batch because she can have that for lunch tomorrow as well. All right, see you later, guys. Bye.